I've been fortunate to go on many Canadian Shield trips and there's one thing that each of these trips have in common. The expectations go through the roof. Months of anticipation will have you believing that things will go perfectly and the level of optimism is super high. But when planning a trip over a year in advance, we can't control the weather conditions and we certainly can't control things like weed growth and water levels. And unfortunately for me, I found myself on the wrong end of these circumstances on more than one occasion over the years. And all you can do in that moment is adapt and keep putting in the work until success finally finds you. Eagle was no different for the first two days and on day three we started to get a little taste of success and the only thing that can make that taste just a little bit sweeter is a really epic first musky catch. Let's roll the footage right now. And then we get to day three, and day three was the day that I have been dreading all week, and day three is today. Basically, we have flat, calm, bluebird conditions, which is like the kiss of death on Eagle, but not today. Not today. Today was a good day, and you're gonna see why right now. Nice job on the camera. We got her. Well, what did we learn? Oh, the hungry fish are in the weeds, apparently. <laughs> oh man, I love when a muskie hits. They just explode on it. That's awesome. Okay. Put all this shit away. Yeah, let's. Well, you cut your line on this one, didn't you? Yeah, I'll worry about that yeah. in a minute. I can't believe she was only 42. It looked that was the fattest 42 I've ever seen. That's probably a relief. Oh, it's a huge relief. We got one. Can you? 42, but it was the thickest 42 I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. Yeah, she was a big one. Awesome. A little better than 42 they got last night, huh? Yeah. Did you see it that one or that one at No, uh, no. Just... Did they take any pictures? I think, yeah, he got a couple. Did he? But it was just beat up and skinny. Was it? And... Yeah, this one was not, this one was a healthy one. For sure. You really have to work for them, or? We actually we had a pretty good morning, all things mm -hmm. considered. We raised four fish, and then this one just plowed it like the third or fourth pole oh, really? out there. Yeah. Heck yeah. 
we gotta get Victoria now and um, we'll wake her up. <laughs> yeah, I get her ass out of bed because she missed the best part of the day. <laughs> but we don't even have a. I mean, the four fish we moved this morning were all on rocks, like submerged reefs, really? and the one that ate was in the weeds. No the sure. last spot I was gonna fish before we came back to get her. Hmm. So we don't. I don't know. Like, are the hungry ones in the weeds and the lazy ones on the rocks? I I have no idea at this point. So we're gonna keep just keep trying everything, I guess. Yeah, unpredictable. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Fight for your energy, get it. Oh yeah, yeah. She was she, she was tossing and turning down here, and she's all wrapped up in the line. And yeah, Levi I went to net it, and he stepped on the turn button on the trolling motor while he net it. And all of a sudden, I'm like, we get in the net, and I hear this noise. I look up, and the cord is just completely wrapped <laughs> as tight as it can go, like almost to the point where I thought I was gonna pull the wires out of the head. I'm like, dude, you gotta, you gotta stand up. You gotta, the trolling motor. <laughs> so, That's funny. yeah, it was wild. Have to stop on that. Yeah, just stop. <laughs> yeah, I, I, there's got to be a better solution than what we have for trolling motors. Like, I want one with cruise control. Like, I want to go 0. 0.6. Yeah. And I want it to know whether we're doing that or not, because it's just got the dial. Like you said, it at two or three or four or whatever. Like, I want cruise they control. They do have them. No. Do they? I think. That's probably out of my budget. Yeah. Have you seen my boat? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, my next boat, I'll I mean, upgrade really everything. Got this thing pretty. Oh, it's and dialed. Out, yeah, for, it's dialed. I want a fiberglass boat though for when I come up here and it's windy because this yeah. thing gets blown around a little bit. I really got to work the trolling motor. I like last night, we fished a couple spots where I had the trolling motor in reverse, yeah. trying to slow us down. Really? Hold on, it's not a log. <laughs> yeah, that's Great a spot for kids to be. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Put all your. Uh, this is kind of nice because now I can see how they react to this. Like, okay. I wonder if that's the one that they got. Probably. It looks about that size. That's how they usually react. Yeah. Just like that. I know, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right off the dock. <laughs> they like the sand. That's probably that same fish. It doesn't look real good. That's hilarious. Wow. You'd be afraid to drive that. It's right behind you. Oh god. Oh god. <sighs> well, it was like literally right in your ear. He left. I watched him fly away. He saw me swing. He's like, what that guy? That guy's huge. <laughs> yeah. He's like, that guy definitely boxes, <laughs> MMA, wrestles. Well, oh, there he was. Did you see it? Mm hmm. You saw it, right? He was following you, wasn't he? Yep. Keep going. Hang. He I was darted though. a lot. He darted though. I was really. That was a good pausing. fish. I just caught a glimpse of him, but oh, that's good to know. Yeah, I, I barely, I just caught a, its side real quick. I, I couldn't see that good. 
It seems like the longer I pause, or any time that I've ever... Yeah. I gotta remember to pause more. Well, I might just let us... Try to decide what to do. I kind of want to map this out so we know how to fish it better. I might just run us back this way with the trawler. And we can just drift mm -hmm. through and cast it again. Let's save. Yep. But she's like, Paul Walker died in a car crash. I'm yeah. like, oh, he's the fast and furious driver. <laughs> that's like... Well, Steve Irwin got killed that's, by a that's stinger, what I was eh? <laughs> That could have been a conspiracy too, though. Yeah, this guy is too nice and tells us way too much about animals. <laughs> we got to take him out. <laughs> take him out. Who knows? Maybe Kobe was killed, too. I thought I saw a rock up kind of by where Tor cast it under the water. I'm keeping an eye out for her. Oh, this nice little current coming through here. This should produce a fish. Oh, I got one! You got one? Yes! Keep it down, keep it down, keep it down. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Ready? I want to... <gasps> if we didn't get it in the boat... No one cares about the fish that I catch. I care. Save that. You <laughs> I'm saving it. Okay guys, I just wanted to cut in here real quick and say that if you've been following along on this video series, you probably realized at this point that Levi and Victoria are not experienced musky anglers. And I am certainly far from an expert, but my number one goal on this trip was to get each of them a musky. When we're musky fishing, it's filled with many highs and certainly many lows. And I truly believe that every musky encounter is a new opportunity to learn and be better on the next spot. This next sequence of events is a good example of how filming can actually make you a better angler by allowing you to go back and rewatch the footage and try and learn from some of your mistakes or things that maybe didn't go according to plan. It also demonstrates the importance of using good polarized sunglasses, never giving up on a cast, even if you have weeds on your bait, and always watching way behind your bait as you come into your figure eight. In these next clips, you'll hear me ask a lot of probing questions because I was trying to essentially figure out what had happened in the situation. And the main reason for that, as I said before, every musky encounter is an opportunity to learn and be better for it. So I was trying to put the pieces together as to what didn't go according to plan so we could learn from it and be better for it on the next spot. What we ultimately realized is that Levi's sunglasses were non-polarized and they were actually making the glare on the water worse than if you didn't even have them on in the first place. And I still kick myself because there were telltale signs throughout the first few days that he was having trouble seeing down into the water. I had several fish that followed that Victoria could see, but he couldn't see them. And I should have put two and two together at that point and got him a better pair of sunglasses or at least checked out his and, and gave him an opportunity to upgrade those sunglasses so he could clearly see down in the water and improve his his chances at success kind of a long-winded way of saying this is a really good opportunity to learn from something that didn't go according to plan social media can be a series of highlights and what we try to do here is document the grind the real aspects of what these trips entail and learn from these experiences to make us better for it so let's roll the footage and see what happens right now Gotta be like one dumb musky out there for me. Yeah, we just had it up. It was the dumbest one I've seen yet. <laughs> hey Siri, play Creed. With arms wide open. I'll show you. We got weeds. Do you? Or my thing sideways. There's something right there. A weed or something. Oh yeah, holy f look Whoa. at that cabbage. Oh, it's a musky Levi. What, what are you doing? He's down there. 
Oh, that was a big fish. I had all the weeds on there. I didn't see them. I couldn't either. The thing was like loaded with weeds. I was. He was even... literally at your bait. Really? Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna let us drift past this, and we're gonna circle back around. That fish was gonna eat. It must be my guy. What What were you doing? I my lure had weeds on it. I know, but it was just sitting there, wasn't it? I was get, just getting ready. I was literally just pulling it up to get the weeds off of it. And I was no, keep going. keep your sunglasses on, but it's worse without them, I'm sure. But no, I was. Literally were you looking at it, or were you looking elsewhere? We're gonna no, see on the camera. No, I mean, I was right here. Yeah, oh, I know. I'm just trying to figure out what happened. I, I just wasn't sure if you were like looking this way or something and just had your bait down there. No, That's no. what I was trying to understand no, because no. like it was right there on the like its back was out of the water. I, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I think I like looked. I think it was when I said, oh, there's weeds here. And then you said, oh, yeah, there's tons of weeds. And then I lifted up my lure to get the weeds off yeah. or that's uh -huh. so I would have been like that maybe for that but for the most part no it was I didn't even know what to say I was so flabbergasted I, the I couldn't even articulate because I'm like dude your bait's on top of the water and this fish is staring at it oh that's a busky Levi what, what are you doing he's down there we're gonna loop back around. Yeah, I'm really curious to see it there. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's no way you could have seen that fish with those glasses on. Ooh. Yeah, it is wild that like the sun hasn't gone behind a cloud more than twice a day. I don't remember any kid. There was a little bit when we were back there mapping before we came here. The thing is though, is it's like 70. Yeah, it's not even hot. I know, it's just, it's just that summer sun. Rip in. Oh, here he is. Came in really late on me. Really late. Really late. Guys, <laughs> what happened? Not where I was to cast. No, I, it looked like you were like about to cast or waiting for me to cast, so then I held back. No, I'm just for, and then I let her go. I'm just trying to position you guys for success. That's all I that's all I'm here for. So, you know, be sure to tip your guide and give me a five star review on the I'll tip you on right. You want a tip? Don't walk on thin ice. Hey, Dad. That's like, that is my dad's go-to line. Just be nice to see one more. It just shut down this afternoon. Yeah. And, dude, we moved. The first five spots we moved to fish this morning. Mm -hmm. And then capitalize then. Six so. or seven. Like if we would have stayed up there all day beating them over the head, maybe they would have gone. Keep going. What did it do? Big wide turn, big wide, 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 wide. Veer it off. Is that a good one? Oh yeah, it's on side imaging right now. Is that a good one? Okay. That was earlier than Levi's. Way hot on my bait, and then just instantly veered off as soon as like basically saw the boat. It was a musky though. It wasn't a little pike. It, I don't know. 
How big was the fish compared to your bait? Oh, bigger, way bigger. Yeah, okay, that was a musky then. Okay, it's number nine. Pretty sure that would have been the same one that you raised earlier, Levi. Mm -hmm. Cause it, it wasn't big, but it was a musky for sure. Were you underwater yet? Yeah. And then he started? Yeah. I... God, sometimes they don't like it underwater. It's hard to tell. It's like, like, like I said, it's like trying to hit a hole in one while blindfolded. <laughs> you don't get any interactions. And then when you do, you usually do it wrong. So it's, I think you should go underwater with the top water at the boat so that they're not looking at the boat. You can keep it on top and try and go in a circle. But I think you did it right. Okay, it's 8 p.m. on day three. You haven't caught a fish. At all hope and loss at this point. No, not all hope has been lost at this point. I have minimal expectations for these trips. Um, specifically because I spend most of my time snacking or reading my book or just enjoying the weather um, or watching you get frustrated over um, anything that happens. But I do have high expectations for myself on these trips. Whether or not I'm putting in the effort is a different story, but I expect big things out of myself. Um, so... You know, no, not all, not all hope had been lost, mostly because I know that it only takes one cast. It was right here where you raised it, Levi. Because I remember I said, I literally said, well, should we go? And it was like, boom, right there. This was like the first spot we tried once we got over here. Yeah. We mapped it out. Got him. Got him? Mm hmm. Pulling it in sideways. <laughs> I could still net it. No, we're not I'm kind of hoping he just gets off on his own. And he was kicking, so I thought it was head shakes. He's got that right through his cranium. You know what was the first thing I did when I got the net? Made sure I wasn't stepping on the trolling motor uh, pedal. Sorry, buddy. Learning. Got me with the hook. Oh, oh honey, got him. Honey, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Nice and calm. Nice and calm. Keep it down. Slow, slow, slow. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you're good. Head shaking. Is, it, is this okay, the rod? Yep, yep, okay. and when you get it up, you're gonna lift it as high as you can. Start lifting, start lifting. Oh my God, I can't. Okay, just nice and slow. So take your time. Yeah, that's a good one. No, 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 no. Let him fight, let him fight if he's gonna. Can I let go? No, no, no. Okay, yeah, thumb up nice and gentle. Okay. Yeah. You gotta lift. Ready? Ready? Oh. Oh. Yes! Yeah! Oh my God. <laughs> On top water. So awesome. On top water. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's a good it's one. Huge. That's a good one. I don't even know how okay. it Um, wow. Cool. Uh, no. That's hey. awesome. Nice. Look at her. That's good. Right. Oh, yes. So big. Oh, that's a good one, honey. Okay. She's so big. 
Let me get her unhooked and then we'll we'll stop the GoPros. Wow. What was that, honey? Wow. That is a giant that fish. Hard. That is a giant. That was a really Oh she's off. My wrist hurts. Okay. Yep. Well guys, after a grinder of a day, we we're just gonna fish a couple more spots and call it an early night. And Vicky stuck a giant on a top water. An absolute tanker. I've been wanting to throw that top water all day. So what we're gonna do here is because this is her first muskie. <laughs> Hell of a first muskie. I'm gonna bump it for her. We're gonna allow her to put her hand in it and hold it for the shot, and then we're gonna release it. I'm just gonna get out of the way. So what I'm gonna do is, once we get the fish up here, honey, yeah. I'm gonna pull the net so it's out of the way okay. and move it so that you can get over the side easier without fighting the net. Okay. okay. So we're gonna pull her out here and bump it. You're gonna come on this side of me then. This is a big one. She is a big one. This one might hit that magical number. Is it a double number? No, it's not quite that big. <laughs> Get ready. Oh my god. What do we got there? 46 and uh, three quarters? Yeah, 46 and Okay, come put your hand in here. Square. Slide up in here. Okay. Yep, for inside and then thumb goes right here. Squeeze as hard as you can. Yep. Ready? Put your hand right here. Okay. Support her. Okay, got her. Yep. Got her. Turn. <laughs> She's heavy. Tilt her head down if you can. There you go. Like this? Yep, yeah, got her. Yep. What a giant. Hang on tight. I'm gonna get the net out of the way. Sorry, Levi. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Get this out of the way. I know I really should hold her different. She's, so <laughs> she's big. She's big. Okay, you got her. You nice support her belly different. Okay. Can got we do it one more time? No, I no, we gotta keep like going. Oh shit, she's got a hook in her. Pop that on. I didn't really get to I smile. I got some. Nope. Got it. Okay, smile. Get in here, honey. <laughs> okay, can you get her up and over? Oh. Careful, careful, careful. I got her, I got her, I got her. I can do the release. Okay. I don't want to drop her. Can you grab my sunglasses off my head? Yep. Yeah. I will not drop. Got her. Yep. Tail first. Tail first. Got her. Yep. Okay, set her down. Nice and gentle. Okay, grab her tail. There, I got her tail. Set her head down. Turn her. Grab her tail. Let her. Let her. Let her go with your hand. Grab her tail. Turn her to me if you can. <laughs> Smile at this one. Smile. <laughs> what a Turn her. Turn her over here. What a beauty. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's so big. You did so good. Okay. Yeah, I think she's ready. Give her a little push. Give her a push. Push. Don't pull her back. Push her. Oh, I don't like that. She'll, she'll be fine. She'll go. She'll go. We'll keep an eye on her. She was tensing up, I thought she was ready. Keep shining on her, Levi. She'll go. She was just out of the water for a second. Come on, mama. She'll go. She's fine, she's just getting her bearings. Those big fish fight hard, and it takes a lot to get them to go again. Here, Tor. Starting there. Yep, there she goes. Get up there, Levi. Oh, 
and she's gonna take a couple days off. <laughs> she had a hey, hug. give me a hug. That was sweet. <laughs> you did so good. Oh. I was nervous how you were gonna react with your first muskie, but you did a hell of a job. There's no doubt about it. Cool. It's gonna be tough to beat that. Forty-six and three quarters. Thank you. Okay. Okay guys, that was an epic first musky catch. And while I have you, I just wanted to cut in here and make a few points on fish handling techniques and maybe some tips and tricks. So when I handle a musky, I try to do my best to prioritize the safety of the fish. There's so few of them that I believe it's our responsibility as anglers to make sure we're doing everything we can to get a safe release on these fish. A couple good pieces of advice include Try to net the fish as quickly as possible so that the fish doesn't overexert itself fighting you. Another good piece of advice is to have the proper release tools and have them handy right next to you while you're handling that fish in the net. These sorts of release tools could include things like hook cutters as well as long nose pliers. Another piece of advice would be to always wet your bump board if you plan to measure that fish so that you're ensuring that there's a slick contact point on that bump board to protect the slime coat on that fish. And then obviously limit the time out of the water with the fish for media type things like photography and videography. And then lastly, one that's maybe not thought of um, across the musky community, um, especially with new anglers is when necessary, have a more experienced angler do most of the fish handling. There's, there's no pride in handling a fish and, and, and ending up hurting it. Have the more experienced angler handle that fish, and then allow the inexperienced angler to slide their hand in that gill plate while it's on the bump board and take the shot after that and get that fish right back in the water. As you heard throughout this whole sequence of events, I was very cautious about the safety of this fish. And at one point told Victoria, we can't do a double take on this fish when she asked if we could if we could stop and do it over. She's big, okay, got her. I'm gonna support her. her belly different. Okay. Can got we it. do it one more time? No, nope, nope, we gotta keep like going. Oh shit, she's got a hook in her. I got some. No. Got it. And there's a couple reasons for this overcautiousness on this particular fish. The first one being this fish was caught out on the cast and fought its way all the way back to the boat, and then at the boat did a series of dives, fully exerting its energy. So this fish had really expended a lot of energy working all the way back on a bomb cast. The next thing I noticed is when I placed this fish on the bump board that it had prior catch damage. Specifically with this fish, the rear fin had splits in it. And there's no science to this that I've heard, but at least in my, my mind, I, I think that when a fish has been caught, it'll likely remember that event and it may enter a higher level of stress than in that particular moment than a fish that hasn't ever been caught before. And then lastly, this fish had dark red fins and fin blood in several spots, which are kind of telltale signs of a highly stressed fish. So because of these factors, we tried to really expedite the whole process and be very quick with the media side of it and get that fish back in the water right away. And despite our efforts, she took you know, several minutes to kind of regather her bearings and, and finally release fairly strongly. And then, you know, the last piece of advice here would be that if you're going to cut hooks on a fish, make sure you get every piece of the hook out of that fish. As you saw in this video, I had to take several seconds to pop a hook out of this fish's gill plate from a prior catch. And, you know, potentially that added little bit of stress, the torquing of the fish on that gill plate to pop that hook out, you know, potentially that led to that fish being more difficult to release. And, you know, I say all of these things because Nobody's perfect 
and we certainly aren't, but we want to do our best to make sure that we're properly releasing these fish and we have the best interests of the resource at hand. There's so few of them and we all like to catch them so much that we need to do everything we can to make sure that the longevity of this sport lives on. So kind of a long-winded diatribe there, but I thought it was a good time to kind of highlight and go back and look at some of that footage while I'm talking here to kind of drive some of these points home and just emphasize that the safety of the fish should be the priority. So with that, I will let you guys finally go here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next spot. We were just running around. You, know, you guys got them. some tonight? There we go. And they get these tools and then it breaks the stunt off. Right. You got slime. The back of it? Oh, almost ruined them. How do you get them back? By trying to do it myself, you know. I was at the point where I wanted to cut the handle off and put a stick on there. Good job. Let's not come in Just run it that way. Awesome. Yeah. Good. Who got one? I oh, got one. I got one this morning. Yeah, she got one tonight. You look oh. like it. You got yeah. shit all that over you. Yeah. <laughs> it was 47. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Nice. Congrats on that. Thanks. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Did you get video? Guys over there hear about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got yeah. You got video? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys are wired. I mean, I, that was yeah. a dumb question. Yeah. 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 I don't even, I can't even think straight. That was unreal. Yeah. Cool. So 47 is cool. be a beautiful. She was yeah. literally the prettiest fish I've ever seen. Nice. It was beautiful. Nice. Thick, too. It was cool. Pretty cool. She got it on? Yeah. No, it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's like the third time you're in the head today. <laughs> <laughs> Going easy on you. Going easy on you.